Technologies of Race in Doctor Who. I'm using Wendy Chun's essay, Race and Slash Ask Technology, or How to Do Things to Race, to analyze the oppression of alien races in two Doctor Who episodes. Chun argues that rethinking race as a technology illuminates the ways in which race is used as a tool to promote difference within oppressive systems. The race is itself created by and mediated through technology, and it produces bodies that are used as technological tools. In New Earth, the Doctor and his companion Rose travel 5 billion years in the future to New New Earth. There, they visit a hospital run by the Sisters of Planetude, an order of nuns. The Doctor is suspicious of the speed of their medical discoveries, and they eventually realize that their medicine is made possible through research on human clones. In Planet of the Ood, the Doctor and his new companion, Donna, travel to the Ood Sphere, where the Ood Corporation produces and markets Ood to all three galaxies of the Second Great and Bountiful Human Empire. In both episodes, racist ideologies are used as tools to justify the oppression of other species. The Sisters of Plenitude see the human clones as subhuman and refer to them as flesh. The Ood Corporation sees the Ood as primitive species whose natural inclination is to serve. Their justifications for enslavement of the Ood carry echoes of the transatlantic slave trade and colonialism. For both species, their physical characteristics, the clones' blemishes, and the Ood's external hybrids are used as signifiers of inferiority. But the existence of these different races is itself technologically mediated. The human clones are literally brought into existence through the biomedical technologies of the Sisters of Plenitude. Further, they exist as part of a machine, shown on the left, that infects them with every disease in the galaxy. Although the Ood exist in the wild, they undergo a process similar to a lobotomy, in which their hindbrains, which they carry in their hands, as shown on the right, are removed and replaced by translation spheres so that they can communicate with their masters. The procedure makes them into better servants and effectively erases their sense of agency, transforming them into docile slaves. Thus, we see how technology can be used to identify and create racial difference. Lastly, I argues that race and slash as technology creates bodies that are themselves technological, that is, it transforms bodies into tools. The human clones are used to serve the needs of biomedical research, while the Ood further the capitalist and imperialist goals of the Ood Corporation. In one scene, the Doctor shows Donna a map of the second great and bountiful human empire, which is punctuated by the Ood distribution centers across all three galaxies. The scene ties Ood enslavement to the greater capitalist and imperialist networks of which they are a part. Through the use of race as technology, the clones in the Ood become objects, near cogs in the very machine that oppress them. But the use of racialized bodies is not limited to far-off worlds. In one of my favorite scenes, the Doctor and Donna discover crates packed to the brim with Ood, ready to be shipped across the galaxies. Donna bemoans the use of the Ood in Empire building, but the Doctor reminds her that things are not so different in our time, commenting, Who do you think made your clothes? By analyzing the ways in which race functions as and through technology, we can turn a critical lens to our modern world and examine our own complicity in capitalist imperialist systems that continue to oppress others.